Ms. Vandana Gandhi, Chief Executive Officer of British, uh, British Orchard uh, Nursery. It's Good my, evening. Good evening. It's my pleasure to communicate with you, uh, to see you here uh, at this forum. And uh, Ms. Gandhi, uh, could you be so kind to tell me, what are your company's main achievements? Uh, first of all, thank you for having us over here in London at the European Business Assembly and it's a privilege to have won the awards uh, today evening. The company has done well in the last one decade and we've won many awards on EFQM which is European Foundation for Quality uh, and uh, by the UAE government uh, for quality development, human development, for customer service, employee engagement. So a nursery school chain which has all women employees has gone on to receive more than 20 national and international awards. So British Orchard Nurseries, we are very proud of our ISO certifications for occupational health and environment and we contribute towards environment and CSR also. So uh, you have achieved already great results. Yes. What drives your success? I think it's the team spirit, the culture at British Orchard Nurseries, the UAE's atmosphere, you know, that is provided to women to work harder, the government of UAE that supports working women, conducive to success uh, in whatever we choose to do. The policies are very, uh, you know, it suits all the women, the government policies, the transparency, the safety, the happiness levels in UAE. It helps all the working women. So to start a business for the children and for the working women was easy for me. And as a founder and CEO of British Orchard Nurseries, I think I should thank the UAE government. We have to thank the economy. Uh, even the need that working women require a good place for young children. So if I got you right, uh, you also get uh, support from the government, yes? We don't get support financially, but we get support with good laws, mm -hmm. good policies, ease of working. Uh, you know, uh, innovation model of the UAE government, where the, I mean, the government encourages ideas, helps you to, uh, you know, believes in your expansion. So at British Orchard Nurseries, we are now 15 branches in UAE and we are also, uh, you know, partnered with the government with nurseries uh, where we have nurseries inside government offices. So we support working women to come back to work, okay, once they have the children. It's easy for them to work when they know the child has been taken care of in the same building. So we help young mothers to get back into work. I think it's a very important, it's, uh, very important. it's very important for the women to get back. Otherwise they will drop off and they will lose the career ground. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to come back after five, 10 years. And then that whole human capital is lost. So if we can provide, I think all countries in the world, the government should step up and support working women. So UAE government supports the government working women and provide subsidized childcare to the government employees. Mm -hmm. And what about your future plans and targets? Uh, we're happy to grow in Middle East and we've already achieved the status of being the largest nursery chain in UAE. And of course with expansion already in the UAE chalked out, we're happy with the growth there year on year. Uh, looking at the growth, we would like to offer our services to Middle East and Asia. And conferences like these, networking forums, help us to take our product to different parts of the world, to tell people in today's conference when I spoke on the early year sector, that's to tell everybody that you need to support the women employees have workplace nurseries, look after the maternity issues of women. And this will go a long way for human resource management in companies. This will help, again, human capital, knowledge economy, balancing of women and men in the workplace. So I think early years education is important for working women, for governments, for economies in general, but also the most important is the child. Research proves that 50% of brain development happens in the first five years. Early years cannot be compromised. The child should be well taken care of. At British Orchard Nurseries, we follow UK national curriculum, EYFS. We have an in-house research developed model of assessment 
every one two-year-old child gets a 680 assessment points in Incredible. three years. So 680 points the child is being checked on, assessed, guided. The child will definitely learn so much more in a quality nursery. So yes, it's important. The society will be another, Society yes. will benefit. We, we'll also, benefit. research proves that if you have early intervention for high quality studies, the child will become a confident learner. So when they go to primary school, secondary school, they are building on the knowledge and intelligence. It's the basis of society. The basis of society. So we are, we are, we are creating future leaders. Yes. And early years is a starting point. I'm happy to be in this field. I love uh, the field of early years. I'm currently doing my PhD in early years and I hope to see a lot of economies, governments look into early years and help the society. Ms. Gandhi, and what about your business assembly? Uh, how does EBA Award encourage you? I think EBA is a great platform for uh, knowledge sharing. So today morning when we had the presentation, and uh, we saw so many uh, companies present from oil and gas to banking to hospitals to universities schools uh, you had uh, different companies present ideas innovation concepts engineering concepts uh, it helps us to take the best practices back to our countries so eba helps in a networking platform idea sharing uh, future thought process of what's there for the future so you know all the leaders when we meet here today we think on the betterment of our companies of the countries we take back and we share the good practices I think it's a great forum I was telling Professor John Netting and 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 Dr. Vincenzo that it's a great place for uh, you know quality sharing of ideas and it's done in a very classical English way with its old charm. So we feel we're in a holiday mood and yet we're enjoying our work. So thank you. I think EBA is doing a good job and I look forward to coming again. Uh, thank you for your activities and thank you for your attempts. Thank you. Uh, for your smile. You know, because <laughs> thank you. Uh, everything uh, goes from the heart. Yes. And I feel it also. <laughs> thank and you. I do wish you from the depths of my heart all the best in any activities of yours. Thank you very much. Really thank appreciate it. Thank you for the awards today. Thank you for the medal. <laughs> and thank you for the organization and the lovely function we've had today. Thank you appreciate very, very so it. much. Thank you. Thank you.